Hey guys and welcome back in this part of the bash tutorial series we shall discuss about the command sleep now this sleep is a command line utility which allows us to suspend the calling process for a specified time or in other words we can say that bash sleep command is going to insert a delay or pause the execution for a specified period of time and when the programmer needs to pause the execution of any command for the specific purpose then this command can be used with the specific time value and uh, we can set the delay amount by seconds minutes hours or even days and this command is specially useful when it is used within a bash shell script so we shall see how we can use this command within our bash script and uh, you can see the syntax is very simple we just have to write sleep then space and then we have to mention a number let's say we mention like sleep space 5 then it will mean that the execution will be paused for 5 seconds unless we specify a suffix here let's say we write sleep space 5 and then m so that will mean that the execution will stop for 5 minutes in the same way we have different suffix like d is for days h is for hours m is for minutes and s is for seconds and if we don't write any suffix here with the syntax then it is automatically considered to be in seconds so this is the default suffix if you're not providing any suffix to the sleep command then the default suffix is seconds and you can see that uh, we can use any positive integer or a fractional number as time value now when we are providing two or more arguments with the sleep command then the total amount of time will be considered as a time equivalent to the sum of their values which means like here we are providing two arguments sleep 1m space 30s which means here the total amount of time to be considered for this sleep command is the total time equivalent to these two values so which means here it will become sleep 90 seconds because 1 minute is 60 seconds and 30 seconds is 30 so 60 plus 30 will become 90 seconds so we don't have to actually write it like this sleep 90 seconds we can just write like this sleep 1 minute space 30 seconds and it will work perfectly fine now these are some of the few examples of how we can use the sleep command like if we just want to pause the execution for 5 seconds we can just write sleep 5 or we can write sleep 5s because as i have explained earlier if we do not provide any suffix with the number then it automatically considers it to be seconds in the same way we can write sleep 0.5 or it sleep 0.5 seconds both are same and then sleep 1 minute 30 seconds we can write either like this or we can write sleep 90 seconds same goes for hours we can write sleep 5 hour and also we can combine different suffixes like this sleep 3 days 8 hour 4 minute and 44 seconds so here the total amount of time to be considered with the sleep command will be the time equivalent to the sum of these four arguments now let's see some of the examples of a sleep command so here you can observe i have written one script and at first i'm using echo to display this hh colon mm colon ss because this is going to be the format of the time so that's why i'm just echoing the format first and then in the second echo i am using the date command then plus percentage h colon percentage m percentage s so this is going to output the correct time or the current time in hh mmss format and then after that i have a forward slash and then percentage m percentage d and then percentage y so this is going to print that date or the current date in mmddyyy format then after that i'm just using echo to display a blank line and then another echo to display this text that says wait for five seconds then after that i'm using the sleep command and here i'm writing sleep space five which means the execution will be stopped for five seconds after that i'm using again one echo to insert one blank line then the next echo is going to display the date along with the time so that we can check the 
exact amount of delay that has been caused because of this sleep command and then finally i'm just echoing this task completed so let's run it and see how the execution goes and you can see the execution has been paused so if we look carefully then the execution started at 15 41 45 that's 3 pm 41 minute and 45 seconds then 3 is the month which is march and then 11 is the date and then 2023 is the year then after that the execution was paused for 5 seconds and then when the execution resumed i displayed the time and the date once again so that we can compare these two and here you can see the second was at 45 then after waiting for 5 seconds the second has become 50 here so that means the execution was stopped for 5 seconds now here if you want you can just add s it won't make a difference because s is by default added if we are not adding any suffix with the sleep command so i'll just show you this also and the execution has been stopped and we have received same kind of result the execution was stopped at 05 and then it was resumed at 10 which means there was a delay of 5 seconds let's see one example where we can use the sleep command with minutes all right guys so i have written one script here and it is very similar to the script that we have seen previously here I'm just echoing the format of the time first and then I'm using echo command once again to display the date along with the time. So I'm using the date command that we have learned in the previous video. So date space plus percentage H is going to return R in 24 hour format. Then we have a colon then percentage M which is going to return the minutes and then finally colon and percentage s which is going to return the time in seconds and then this is the part which is going to return the date in mmddyyyy format and then one echo command to display a blank line then we will use echo command to display this message wait for two minutes and then the sleep command is going to be executed and the execution of this script is going to stop right there for two minutes then again we are using echo to display one blank line after that we are using echo command once again to display the time and the date so that we can compare whether there was a delay of two minutes or not and then finally we are using just this task completed so let's run this script and you can observe that at 15 hour 45 minutes and 49 seconds the execution was stopped for 2 minutes so the execution should resume at 15 47 49 and let's see if that happens or not right after 2 minutes the task was resumed again and you can observe it from here so that's all for this command that is a sleep command it's very simple nothing much to talk about here you can use different kinds of argument here to experiment with the command but that's all for this video in the next video we shall discuss about the arithmetic operators in bash so if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching